sort of like detuning a Formula One in a way that's still just as exciting. So we knew how to build a fast boat and we wanted to build a boat that was as fast as we could get that was still had so many boxes ticked, like it was safe. I mean, it's really hard to hurt yourself on this boat. There isn't much to hit yourself on. There's no stays, the foils are blunt, are deliberately blunt. You, know, you can bash this as much as you like and you will not break it. We just took everything and said, what don't we need? What is it that is not making a big difference to performance? So everything was about just getting this boat that was accessible. It's pretty pretty amazing that we uh, we have the global headquarters here in Melbourne and uh, and everything has been tested. All our products have been tested locally, and uh, you know it started out as a as a relatively small business. You know Andrew uh, working through the Mac Two moved into this facility. Yeah, it turned it into a into a thriving little hub basically, and uh, we have about eight staff that are that are working here, and uh, you know that's right through from the guys who are who are packing the orders. We have a full tech team that are that are here. Um, you know so. If, any customers have any issues with their boats, they can actually come directly to the source and there's nothing that these guys haven't seen. So we love it, you know, we come into work in, in the morning and we, we check the emails and we're, we've got relationships with our agents, with our customers, and they're all really, really positive relationships. The customer is so important and, and especially the general public. I mean, that, that big middle section, it's not, the guys like right at the elite end. It's not the people that are like learning the sales. It's a huge chunk in the middle, your weekend warriors that are that are getting involved. And it's a culture that we we work really hard to manufacture, I suppose. Um, you know, through our events, we want to put the best events on that we possibly can in iconic locations. I started sailing the Wasp about a month ago, um, so I'm pretty new to the boat and I'm just here to learn as much as I can and make lots of friends. Oh, to be honest, like when you're flying with like a hundred boats and, uh, and you've got scenery like this, it doesn't get much better. This is like the pinnacle of sailing. It's fast and you get both the tactics in sailing and it's so important to have pressure all the time but at the same time you need to pay attention to the other boats. It was two things. People getting into the moth and dropping out because it was just too technical, too much work, too much money. And they might have been great sailors, but they still just dropped away. And then there was the other hand, which was probably more to my heart, was just seeing people at my club or around the world, they'd come out of Optimus or they'd come out of maybe even an Olympic program, and they just go, stopping. You know, I don't want to do the Olympics, I'm not good enough, or it's just too regimented, it's not a lot of fun, the boats are a bit boring. I just wanted to grab that, that group of people who were just falling away from sailing and say, hey mate, this is fun. Everyone here is for sailing for himself, not for Olympics, not for uh, the other that are paying. So not professional sailor, but just uh, enjoy. Very, very beautiful. I've been fortunate enough to sail the Wasp a few times before and it's not about technology development at all, it's about giving people a chance to experience the sensation of foiling. 
that's perfect for new young kids to get involved in the class and go out and race and go sailing in a very safe manner. We've got 12 year olds and we've got 63 year olds sailing this boat, so there's a place for everybody. And yeah, it's really exciting to see because the Opti, the Junior, the Youth Classes, 420s, 29ers, Lasers, you name it, they're getting, becoming more and more intense. And this is nice, a nice refreshing break. It gives people an opportunity to enjoy their sailing, to have fun. You can see the band in the background. There's, there's music, there's fun, there's laughter, there's enjoyment. But yeah, there's a pathway there that allows your sailors to come through. And at the end of the day, all we want is for people to enjoy the sport. As long as they're having fun and they're on the water, that's, that's the important thing because it's such a fantastic sport, such a fantastic crowd of people. Quite often we're hammering down wind at, at max speed and we're just a couple of boat lengths apart. We're looking at each other, whooping and laughing and stuff. And we're like that all the way around the race course. And we, I must admit, I don't look at who's leading. I don't look at anybody else, but I just want to see where my buddies are. Who, who are so much fun. I probably didn't see myself in the position I am now. Um, five years ago that I'd still be at events and, and dealing with events. But I've just seen what it's become and I've seen what I can still add to the class and it's like, forget about the designing and let's, let's make this happen. So it's, yeah, it's pretty awesome. Sail GP and the Inspire program and their partnership with WASP, it's really an opportunity to create a pathway for young sailors into Sail GP. And the goal of Sail GP is to make it not just for the elite, but to give lots of opportunities for young sailors coming in as well. Really cool, because everybody helps you when you need. So, yeah, it's... Um, it's a competition, but uh, um, everybody helps uh, each other. The best thing that I, I see is these kids that I met two years ago in Campione, and they were like 17, 16, 17 year olds. They've got to 18 and got over that uh, over that mark, and they're looking to the future. They're not thinking anytime soon I'm getting out of this boat. So we've got this huge group of people that are, that are coming through that are actually staying in the boat. They're seeing it as a destination class. What I enjoy within this event is that also beginners like I can participate and learn a lot from the others and I, I'm not being judged by being still a learner. That's what I really enjoy. difficult to put into words. The reality is we're all here in one of the most spectacular kind of scenic places in the world and we're foiling it kind of 15 to 20 knots down the middle of the lake in amazing sunshine. It's just incredible. We're incredibly lucky and fortunate people and I've played a part in it. However small, however big, it doesn't really matter. You know, as a team from WAS, from AMAC, all the way down to, to the rest of us, we've all helped to to galvanise and bring a hundred people together to enjoy and appreciate what we have here and you know next year I can't wait you know I mean it's just gonna get better and better every year long may it continue because it's people having fun in the water what else do we want
This is an amazing experience. I've never experienced a place like this with just everyone is so into sailing and just loves it here. It's, it's really cool. I've never really been organized enough to have holidays booked, but when, uh, when they said the great locations they were going to go to for all these events, I thought, oh my word, I've, I can actually plan my holidays for the next three years. To be honest, I don't really think about much else all the time when I'm back in normal life. I'm just thinking about what we're going to do. Awesome. I mean, this boat is just so suited to travel. You just pop it in a box, send it anywhere in the world. So put it on a plane and fly over and it's only there a couple of days later. It's perfect, really. Or you get to come to areas like this, you know. I'm, I'm lucky enough to be able to, which is amazing. And I really appreciate it because it's awesome scenery and awesome place to sail. I love the sport. I think it's a lot of fun. And I, yeah, I, when I get out to sail, I just love it and I do it only for the fun. There's, yeah, no more meaning to it for me than that. Just to be flying around the place is really stunning. I've never enjoyed sailing a single hander before, but uh, I just love this boat. And yeah, I guess you do feel incredibly free while you're flying around. Pretty amazing, I think. Yeah, it's pretty cool just to be able to, to be able to actually be able to go out there and sail, like even just normally, just yeah, by itself. It's cool, really cool. I want to change people's lives, lots of people's lives, and to do that, you need. A vehicle that's, that allows that to happen. And personally, for me, the WASP style of thinking is something that is, is is far more important than the pinnacle. The pinnacle is there so that people can see that it's fun. This is there so they can actually experience it, and that's the key.